Hello everyone, my name is Tykeo and uh, I got a suggestion that someone commented on my video. They wanted me to do a CD collection. I did a CD collection five years ago in 2016, um, or 2017, one of the two. Um, and that was the only CD collection I did because that was at the time, that's all I had. Now I have a bunch of them, not as much as like my movies, as you collect movies and I got a bunch of those and a bunch of those down there. But some of these CDs are broken because I had them for so long and they just fell or snapped one of the two and then I got a couple of new ones these ones all came out of my car and uh, so some of these are my mom some of these are mine majority of them are mine and a couple of them are my mom's but let's just get right into it first one we got here is Leanne Womack I hope you dance CD it's not a bad song next uh, we got some of these like are out of the cases because I was using them in the car. We got the best of Nickelback volume one. This is Sierra's and is Miley Cyrus the time of our lives. Next one we got is a Jason Aldean old boots new dirt. Um, Alabama roll on. I actually have it over here, but I have to put it back in there. Uh, this is a burnt CD. It has a bunch of like old songs. Here's uh, the Old Boots uh, New Dirt CD cover here. I like Jason Aldean. I like Old Country too. So it's pretty nice. This one is missing the top. But it's uh, sh Eminem Shady XV. And it has like it has two discs. Um, I don't know what's in this one. Oh, it's right there. So pretty cool explicit album um, we got this is a Bush CD but it has the essential Alice in Chains there's a two disc one but this is a Bush CD 16 stone then we got the Alabama roll on CD here's a Nickelback the best of Nickelback volume one I don't know. I don't think they made volume two, but still. Here's one of my, uh, is an underrated band. I really love this band. Um, and I found the CD at Family Dollar. It is Queen Strife, Empire. Has a bunch of good songs on it, like Jet Woman City and Silent Lucidity. Got this at Target. Uh, I haven't seen one of these CDs in a long ass time, especially with this, um, the 2000s. It is, uh, now that's what I call Decade 2000s. Got the CD because we were running out of CDs. And Empire's in there. Queen Strife Empire. I remember when nice now CDs and Kids Bop was like crazy at the time. Then we got another one, the Fray, um, How to Save a Life CD. It's a little blurry. Uh, there's the back. Then we got Daughtry. Um, yeah, it's just called Daughtry. There's a bunch of good songs. I remember when uh, Chris Daughtry was on American Idol. <laughs> that's that's when he became famous. American Idol, I think 2008. Uh, next one we got. I got this from a place. I forget what it's called, but it was in the mall. And they recently shut it down. But they're, the mall's still open, but they shut down a bunch of these. Uh, I had m dozens of movies. And a shit ton of CDs uh, you can find that are all explicit, like some of the explicit CDs were only at Target instead of Walmart, and you go to the mall and they're all there. But I got this CD here, uh, Eminem Encore, came out 2004, Deluxe Edition. It, uh, of course, has the first CD here. The other one is like, I forget where it's at, but that's Eminem right there. This is what the CD looked like. And then the... Um, Second disc is like black and has red on it. It says Encore. But uh, it comes with three s songs compared to the original. Uh, then we got, uh, got this from Ma Family Dollar, actually. And I was pleasantly surprised to find a CD from this band from the 90s. And they're, he's still alive. Uh, Pearl Jam Live on Two Legs. I was pleasantly surprised to find the CD. And I've also noticed that some of the CDs... Um, that Pearl Jam or Nirvana or Alice in Chains have is that they don't have their parental advisory on it because majority of their songs are not explicit 
but half of them are like there's a couple songs on here that that is explicit like given to fly uh even flow um and fucking up that's what it's called fucking up you know young song then i got this cd um i got this for christmas and this is a uh, deluxe album and it comes with a dozen songs two discs and that is pearl jam rearview mirror and this is explicit too but it doesn't have the parental advisor on it like these songs are explicit like once jeremy even flow rearview mirror um hell hell um given a fly And that's just a couple of the songs on here that are explicit, but they're not. But I really like this CD. That's all the songs on the first disc, and that's the second songs on the second disc. Um, here's the inside. And when I open this, I'm like, where the hell is the CD? And I realize it's in the socks. That fell out. Here's a book. Next one we got, I got this from the pharmacy when I was probably 15 years old. And I was pleasantly surprised to find an explicit album there. That is Eminem, the Marshall Mathers LP. It's missing the cover. But there's the back. And uh, Eminem right there. It's got a little dirt on it. I've had this CD for a long time. It still works. Next one we got, it's missing the cover. And it's cracked. Wow, how the hell did it get cracked? The 8 Mile CD instead of the, um, from the mo movie? It's fucking cracked. Wow, here's the cover of the Essential Alice in Chains. Uh, we got Chris Cagle CD. We got um, a burnt CD that has like a uh, you know classic songs. Some of these are my mom's. Um, then we got a Johnny Cash duets. The greatest of Johnny Cash. And we got Eminem Curtain Call. I have a clean version and I have a dirty version. One of the two. But here's a, this fell out. This is the essential uh, Alice in Chains. Um, next. Hold on. Next is, uh, this is missing the cover. Um, but this is the uh, Johnny Cash duets cover here. But uh, this is missing the cover. My brother got this for me at a yard sale many, many years ago. And uh, I was surprised that he found an explicit version of it. And I've never even heard of this until he got it for me and I started listening to it. And it had a bunch of good songs on it. And at the end, he got, like, you know, the good ones. But it's uh, Eminem Presents The Re-Up. Where it's like, it's like a comp compilation of all, like, uh, songs that were released and some songs that weren't released and at the ending they had his uh his song no no apologies and then we also got this cd um well this one i don't know where it's at but it's nirvana never mind cover it's missing the front and then i also got like a uh this song this cd should be explicit there's no explicit warnings on it but it's in the grunge era so that don't really think they had them but uh, this this was his last CD um, that I know of. Uh, it's uh, Nirvana in Yordo. It's a really good CD. Uh, the back is a little disturbing, but you know it's Nirvana. This CD uh, my fiance got for me for uh, our first Christmas, I think, and uh, she knows that I I love. 70s i love the 80s and she knows that i like pink floyd a lot she knows i love pink floyd and so she got me this at walmart that i didn't even know they had this is like a compilation and it's also a remaster it's uh the many faces of pink floyd box uh cd and it's got like you got disc one two three and it's got a shit ton of songs some of them were like remakes some of them are not but uh i really like the cds and I've been taking care of them because I really like the CDs. Um, see, we got uh, the uh, Dark Side of the Moon, pretty much. But it's I love Pink Floyd, and this is really nice. And I'm always going to take care of it. 
Uh, this one is my dad's CD. He, um, he always loved the old con country. You know, you got Conway Twitty, you got Dolly Parton, and Hank, William Jr., um, Johnny Cash, and a bunch of other ones like Johnny Paycheck. But uh, there's uh, two new singers out there. Were, well, one of them's not really, they're not really new, but they're good singers, and my dad got addicted to them. It's Jamie Johnson, that CD, the, the Lonesome Song. And then he got another one called Chris Stapleton Traveler. And he got me into Chris Stapleton and Jamie Johnson. And I, I always thought these guys are going to bring country back. That didn't happen. But still, good CD. Uh, it's not. It's actually in the CD player. Good CD. Um, I know every song on there now. Uh, all the songs on this album, the CD cover is just amazing. His voice is really good, and I've always clinged to Chris Stapleton and Jamie Johnson. And the last CD I have, and I have more somewhere, but the last CD I have is actually in the car CD player. Can't get it out. Um, is the Eminem Show. It's missing the front cover. It's explicit CD. Um, I really like the Eminem Show. I had a bunch of other Eminem CDs. I had Relapse. I had Recovery. I have Recovery in the CD player. But I had Recovery, Relapse... Uh, I had Curtain Call, The Hits, um, Marshall Mathers LP, Slim Shady LP I had. Um, what else? I had a bunch more, but I forget. It's been so long. And the last city I bought by Eminem was Shady XV. And I always wanted to get, you know, Revival and Murdered by Music, Part 1, Part 2. And I also want to get the uh, Kamikaze album. But there's nowhere, I can't find anywhere to get CDs unless I go on Amazon. Because people buy, I still buy DVDs, I still buy Blu-ray DVDs, I still buy tapes, I still I still buy CDs. I, I like to have a physical copy around in case, you know, something on the PlayStation or my phone or whatever disappears or whatever. Breaks, doesn't work. Uh, I like to have physical copies of everything. I'm a collector and I love doing what I do. And especially with um, CDs in general. Because it's hard to find CDs anymore. Uh, you'll find them here and there. Maybe at Walmart. Maybe at Target. Maybe at uh, uh, Family Dollar. Pretty much any physical store. I still like to buy CDs. Because CDs you can listen to over and over again. And if they scratch, I mean you're fucked. You can still clean them, but they're scratched, um, and that's that's why my car is a 2007 Honda Accord, and it's a, a six-disc um, CD player. It's a six-track, pretty much. Um, but that's why I, I I buy CDs because my car doesn't take, you know, the uh, Bluetooth, but I can hook it up. But it's going to be a pain in the ass to do so because you got to go through the motor to do it. Yeah. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below if you want some more. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, turn on that notifications bell so you never miss an upload. Check out my uh, my main channel at Tykill67. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day and peace.